Okay, thank you very much. Great job numbers. You see what's happening with respect to the economy. Uh, vaccine is looking very good for pretty soon. We'll be talking about that a little bit later on. We're going to Florida. We're going to North Carolina. We're doing a double stop. We'll be doing some triples along the way, but right now we're sort of in the earlier stages. The poll numbers you saw were very good. They're really getting good, despite all of the disinformation campaigns that the Democrats run, pure disinformation. So we're doing very well. Uh, we'll have a good trip today, and I'll see you during the trip. Any questions? Mr. President, when you talk to anybody in your own campaign? Yeah, if I have to, I would, but we're doing very well. We needed to spend more money up front because of the pandemic and the statements being made by Democrats, which were, again, disinformation. We've done a great job with COVID. We've done a great job with the China virus, a great job. Uh, whether it's ventilators or whether it's vaccines, which you'll be seeing very soon, or uh, therapeutics, we've done a great job. But the press was uh, fake, and we have to spend a lot of money. No, if we need, if we did need, we don't, because we have much more money than we had last time in the, going into the last two months, I think double and triple. But if we need it anymore, I'd put it up personally, like I did in the uh, primaries last time. In the 2016 primaries, I put up a lot of money. If I have to, I'll do it here. But we don't have to because we have double and maybe even triple what we had uh, a number of years ago, four years ago. Whatever it takes, we have to win. This is the most important election in the history of our country. We have a radical left group going around. These people, there, there's something wrong with them. There really is. There's something wrong with them. And Joe doesn't have the strength. He doesn't have the mental capability to control these people. And you take a look at what's going on. And, and I looked at Pittsburgh. I looked at Rochester. I looked at L.A. last night. I looked at these Democrat-run cities. Now, you look at Portland every night. They don't have the strength. They don't have the, the the I don't think the Democrats have the courage to control these people. They're afraid to even talk about law and order. They can't issue the words law and order. All we want is law and order. And I just put out something. The suburbs are coming big to us because the suburbs are next. If you elected this guy, the suburbs would be overwhelmed with violence and crime. So that's where we are. This is the most important election in the history of our country. So that's it. We'll see you in Florida. Thank you very much.